Scared Spliff Podcast. Well, first we should have our future president give his um, inauguration speech. Mm-hmm. Yeah, yeah. For me? Yeah. Dan Morales in 2020. All right, so we are here at the uh, Fobo Studios with Dan the Man, Dan Morales, Dan Woo! Sexy Boy, Dan Woo! Playboy, Dan Big Dick. Dan the no, 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 no. Not the last two. The Small man. dick and very insecure. <laughs> <laughs> so, is is it, so is apper- apparently Dan is running for president in 2020. Woo! Hindsight, motherfucker. So, tell us a little bit more about this. Oh, yeah. I'd be glad. I'd be glad to tell you about this. You know, this country, this country has reached a spiritual crisis. This country is due for a reckoning. <laughs> there were, there will be, oh, there will be a terrible gnashing of teeth. Ooh. Next will be snapped. Only I can save you. I'm Dan the Man. 2020. Let's do it like we need it, America. Yeah, motherfucker, we sucking on a piece. Is yeah. it is it a topic the the whole the whole Dan the Man title and the 2017 ramifications thereof? Is that a topic that that we want to talk oh about, or should, are we just yeah, bored, are we bored with that? Okay, man, has that fucking lawyers because Amazon owns the rights to the Dan the Man name. Oh my god! Oh, that's why. So oh, it's nice. not about that. It's misogynist to call yourself Dan the Man. That's well, not actually, you know, I, I well, I can't speak to that. Actually. Well, it's not for me to say. <laughs> from, um, <laughs> suffice to say that uh, I was threatened with a flaming dildo. Oh dear. At a feminist rally, so I, I just don't leave it at that, and you know, because um, I was told to leave it that yeah. Dan the man was gender indicating. So yeah. I, I, yes. I, I, I am the father of a daughter, so I wanted to be able to open myself up in my later years and accept that um, that could possibly bother people. Oh, so now I'm just Dan. Oh jeez. If you, if you don't mind. I'm there you go. You're losing my interest. Uh, I, I, okay, I, I get that. I get I that. But if you're interested in this patriarchal well, this patriarchal farce that we've set up, then I guess we just do that. Uh, I'm like the millennial monsters on the Spectre commercial. I'm still Let's in. Let's do that. Same guy, technically same label. Uh, same yeah. name. Yeah. The yeah. name is the yeah. same. Yeah. It's right? still the same name. Yeah. But it's just like, it's a little... Like, well, here's the thing. Okay, so so... Amazon wanted me first. First, Netflix wanted me to do thirteen shows. I did it. They're horrible. I fucked everything up. I felt really bad about it. Got a second chance with Amazon. Uh, did that. Did those shows? They're okay through some kind of subversion. I can't really speak to too much. It turned out that Amazon had um, signed me to a contract that I collected all my material, but um, but. Um, they had given the spot for me to this guy. It's, it's doesn't matter. That's the Black Jesus or something. There's a show on TV called Black Jesus. <laughs> so he got the Dan the Man spot. What? And, uh, oh, yeah. Wow. That adult swim bullshit. Yeah, right, right. Oh. I mean, I'm, I'm trying to say beautiful. I'm trying to give you my heart, and you want some kind of talent shit, man. You know? I don't know. You know that, that's yeah. me, you know? Yeah. So they own that name or something. I can't say that. And then after that, shortly thereafter, was a flaming dildo incident where my van was set on fire with the flaming dildo huh. and um it was a um a list of some feminist organization that i i don't i don't I choose to dignify with what the, what wait, the wait, 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 wait. So well, we've all been there wait, so let me get this straight somebody we've threw a flaming there. dildo in your car and your car ignited from the inside two things they didn't throw it they placed it uh, it was a van not a car okay all right so was this flaming dildo like a molotov cocktail it was a Molotov cocktail. Uh, Zing! <laughs> we'll be right back. <laughs> <laughs> oh, no. Experiencing oh, hilarity. Oh, we'll be right back. Oh, 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 so, oh, 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 that is, that's, that's some gnarly shit, man. Your van got blown up by a fucking dick. Yeah, yeah. Literally. Yeah, yeah exactly. Yeah, by, it's right, like right. that story was meant to come oh, wow. to us. Yeah, yeah, that it was. Shit. To come. How do you explain this? I like your public work, by the way. Thank you. Yeah. How do you how do you explain this to a police though? Like, how would you file this in the re- police report if you did, or like how how would how'd you go about this? Actually, like, when I told the police, they they, they were right on the case, and then they, they were. Oh well, um, yeah, they were gonna actually, jump on the dick. Yeah. Oh, who's the comedian? <laughs> over <laughs> He's a good boy. Headline: Alice attacks the rabbits. He's a good boy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's let's a good boy. Yeah. No, no, no. That's that's 
far more entertaining than I could have done. No, but like, yeah, like did you points. do a police report? Like, I bet you like. I didn't, you know, because um, I don't fucking like cops. <laughs> yeah, 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 I was here. Like, yeah. You don't like cops? You're gonna need a cop someday. You know when I'm fucking fifty five. I have the opposite of ever needed a cop. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I never ever needed a motherfucking cop. So mm-hmm. fuck him. So I didn't. <laughs> I did not file it before. You know, I don't, I don't give a fuck, man. I mean, I'm telling you right now, we have bigger problems at hand exactly. than a fucking flaming building. <laughs> it's true. Yeah. You know yeah. That, right? yeah. So I mean, like, now that like this is a show that comes off like really soonish and, and kind of close to the times that are like we, we kind of try to keep ourselves, Halloween. you know. No, no, no. It is Halloween every day here, so. <laughs> <laughs> nah. And we don't nah. say that to be, like, really gay. That's a ministry really, song, really, like, Oh, yeah. Bomb, yeah, I bomb, love that. Bomb, I love bomb, bomb. Yeah, I don't, like, yeah. But, um, so gonna get into the a ministry song yeah, about yeah. it being Halloween every day, or about, or... Every day is Halloween. Every day is Halloween. Yes. yes. Ministry is shit. Who knows who Zach Braff is? Yeah. Oh, sure. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Uh, here we go. Oh, but, okay. Never mind. Go for it. Go for it. My point of trying to say is like why we really you going down scrubs like, throughout every single week. Um, I want to, like we gonna gun your stage. Initially, we don't, uh, initially this production is not really <laughs> political per se. Uh, we uh, try to we, we try to talk about certain <laughs> things that aren't really serious. But this first time, this this time I'm gonna try to like take take this into consideration yeah. since we do have somebody that is aware of certain laws and regulations and things like that in yeah, our Yeah, dumbass. So, like, let's get a little bit serious. Oh, yeah. You want to talk about what's going on well, lately? On the first date, I don't know. Yeah, yeah I know. Right? Yeah, I'm going to pop my dick out of place right now. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> you said it! <laughs> what you think about Hitler? <laughs> He's pulling all the leeway. I want that puppet guy oh, to talk, man. Okay. Say something, puppet guy. Something, right. puppet guy. Woo! Ta-da! Woo! Love it! Love, Love puppet, it! Puppet guy Nazis. <laughs> 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 I'm sorry, we took part in this. That's a, no, it's okay. You know, it's not okay. I okay. like that. No, that's how I, I, I like puppet like Nazis that. better than the real ones. Yes, puppet Nazis. Yeah, because right now, today, Secret like there's supposed to be some Oakland and Berkeley going to right, right, right. so that's that. that. Yeah, it's in the North Bay right now. So, like, we are in Southern California. Where it's called oh, oh, bro. Oh, oh, my. Oh, my. <laughs> Fuck authority. Toe fitting Pennywise. Pennywise. Pennywise, man. Rock, Bro, man. Warp yeah. Fucking hot topic. <laughs> Ruby Soho. Urban Ruby. Outfitters. Ruby Soho. Oh my god, yeah, dude. It's the kids. Oh no. Alright, so That's what are we gonna about. do about the Nazis? The Nazis, I say kill all motherfucking Nazis yeah. right now. Start with Trump. Yeah. Fucking kill goddamn Donald <laughs> Trump. <laughs> fucking right now. I will fucking do yep. it. We got a flaming dildo in the White House. Well, you we gotta get that, that funny in the house. Exactly the same thing is done feeling the way that they do. <laughs> <laughs> I back up puppet guy. Whatever he says. That's fuck his yeah. fucking excuse the for uh, them. Uh, yeah. Which guy. it's fucking puppet big guy. guy. Puppet puppet big guy. guy. Uh-huh. We right. fight the real Nazis with <laughs> puppet Nazis. And there's only one person to go to for that, and it's Jeff Dunham. And that's oh, it. perfect. Yeah. That's okay. where. Well, right. it's, see, yeah. Jeff it's Dunham. perfect. I mean, I'm not. Yeah, I'm I like not Jeff even Dunham's kidding. A, Jeff Dunham. I like Jeff Dunham's, Dunham's uh, diverse Listen. characters. <laughs> <laughs> a black girl named Peanut, and uh, <laughs> yeah. a Mexican jalapeno pepper. <laughs> well, how about that? Oh, nice. I don't know, Mr. Dunham. Oh, Ooh, I'm in too black. <laughs> <laughs> How about that, Jose Jalapeno? Oh, see, I think you're yap tomorrow. <laughs> Holy shit. I'm sorry, I'm bitter because I. Like, no, dude, dude, no, dude. I'm with you on this because, like, all, out, it, yeah. all of a sudden, like, all like out. he, do, like, sometimes he does patter before bringing out the puppets, right. and he was doing patter about like driving his wife's car around, and the car is like pink, and so he did this homophobic bit, and I was like, right. oh, this guy, like, I, the word alt, the term alt right was not in my vocabulary yet at that time when this was on TV, but right. I was like, this guy, dude, this guy's like not down with like human beings, Ooh, like, like all of them. Like puppet j- guy, yeah. just like you can see the agenda, like right, right there, like yeah, yeah. <laughs> we can't see the text; and it don't read. You know what I'm saying? That's just like a stage term. It doesn't I was read. Just on letting either. Brandon fucking talk. Man. I'm sorry. <laughs> I didn't mean to be. Ugly. I want to hear puppet guy <laughs> stuff. <laughs> we well, keep hear about fucking puppet. Guy. I want to hear the puppet guy voice. That you ain't gotta puppet. break Gil's fucking balls so much. He, wait, you, you're doing God's work of making the weed circulate around. And oh yeah. Somebody yeah, had yeah. that real good weed. That was like. I'm on the Dior. 
Yeah, I like that real. I, I like all the weed, but the real good weed is like my. What, what do you think about the regulation of weed, marijuana? As far as marijuana is concerned, because now obviously, like your son is 18 years old. What? Uh, am I, am I right? <coughs> right? Yeah, you're 18. Right? <laughs> Why wasn't I notified? Okay. Yeah. All right, so let's say like. Oh, my son's right here, as a matter of yeah. fact. Yay! Yeah. Oh, like, yeah. yeah. right? Dan the third. Woo! Oh my God! We tried ah, to oh, oh, teleport him so here. Much. You Sheesh. just pissed him out, and he sprouted it out of your face. Shake up the guy. <laughs> 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 yes, yes that, that's how it works. That's, yeah, you know, I mean, like, like, really, like, how do you th- how do you feel about your your son being able to just walk into the dispensary and like purchase marijuana without a recommendation? Well, he can't. He needs a rec right now. Really? No, think, yeah, there's shops. There's some shops right now, yeah. like oh, yeah. downtown LA, that you, all you need is your ID. <laughs> yeah, I want Supposedly. Garfield and Whittier. Garfield and Whittier. Oh, really? Let me know where they are. Uh, oh, there's one right there. <laughs> <laughs> and then, then starting next year, it's like accordingly, you don't even need a. A recommendation anymore. I like. I personally don't really like all that stuff because I think marijuana is for medicinal purposes and whatever. That's just my my oh, take. Man. That's just my take. That's how I feel about. That's how about. That's how about. That's how about. That's how about. So right now, <laughs> Papa getting his medicine. <laughs> That's what it is. <laughs> I mean, like, it's also... Like, healthy. Yeah, it is healthy. <laughs> <laughs> Real healthy. <laughs> Help you breathe better. Or, like, <laughs> or like, what's the difference... Like, what's the difference between then and now for you? As far as, like, um, oh, um, uh, buying it. You don't have to go to a dealer right, anymore. Right. You know? But, you know, there's a whole, whole other realm of problems. Like, the, the fucking... Most unpleasant people go to dispensaries. Yeah. You know? It's like the fucking you know, loudmouth chicks that nobody fucking likes and the dickhead skater cholo guys that fucking just want to fucking just talk and be instant friends. You know? Fuck, eh? We're here right now, eh? Yeah, I, I know. I'm waiting. Fuck, <laughs> but, hey, fucking, we're standing homes. Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. Yeah, but dick. Fucking dick, fool. Okay, I'm all right. <laughs> Okay, well, Where do you go? I'd rather grow <laughs> that you experience this. Because I've been to some places even in downtown, and I have hey, man. to really. You haven't met someone who's like, <laughs> dude, like, we're so both Officer Puppet man. Guy. No. <laughs> right? Like, officer Puppet Guy, I'm not going to tell you where I'm I go, sorry. okay? How about that? You wanted me to start. How about man. that? Oh, bro. Bill's coming Just out. Hook me up now, okay? Oh. Do it in front of my son. Hook me up now. Come on. Coming out. You're wearing a wire. This guy's wearing a wire. Coming out the sun. <laughs> wow, you know what? Scratch that. <laughs> Taking the head out the blood. Yeah. Yeah. Breaking the law. Just the lob. two. <laughs> two punch up. Two punch up. TMI. What's wrong with that? <laughs> I, I, Dan, Dan, I, I have a question. Like, because. So, like we talked uh, uh, earlier about, like uh, you're having uh, well, Halloween? Uh, like been dosed with LSD at 13. So pre- right. I'm presu- presumably By this might be an unfair assumption, but presumably you've been trick or treat. like like smoking marijuana for a wh- like a while wh- for about that oh, long. Oh, you took it? You hooked me up too. I, I guess, but it's ice. Are you from <laughs> ice or what? <laughs> I don't Jeez, know. What is this, man? For the podcast listeners, I'm making a hand gesture that's like. One hand is putting like a a, a a fictitious like small rice ball in the other hand. The gesture doesn't serve any purpose <laughs> other than Man, that I'm high and my, my mouth isn't one. enough and for no talking. No way, shape, or form do we support <laughs> any law enforcement, <laughs> shippies, anything uh, of that bullshit. Right. This is not no, you know, you know, criminal or anything like yeah. that. I'm sorry, Brandon. This is um, talking about. Give the batons back to the color guard and go you the fuck away. You are a peace of officer. Yeah. Observe and right. report. That is your job only. Okay. Not a militarized <laughs> fucking community of fucking... What's mili- the name of this podcast, anyway? Scared, Scared Split. Split. Oh, no. <laughs> <laughs> we gotta fucking change that name. Scared Split? What? Yeah, uh, yeah. Is Bob Marley afraid, or what? That's what yeah, yeah. Zing. Yeah. 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 He should fucking be. Fucking get it. Making his dress go be. white. Uh-huh. He has nasty dreads. Oh, <laughs> he has very nasty dreads. You should be scared of his lack of hygiene. Be, so, so I, so I just, I wanted to ask when you, like, so when you started marijuana, uh, uh, marijuana? like it was like, Gee? like in terms of the, the strength <laughs> of it, the potency of it hey, now. Jane. <laughs> like the the potency of it now versus yes. the potency of it then when oh. you started, like yeah. how how extreme a difference? Well, well, let me tell you, back in the day, we were, we were smoking trees and get high. <laughs> now, nowadays, it has a special super cotton candy marijuana. I don't know. I guess it's better. But actually, it was um, it was, um 
there's always good stuff. But that was like really fucking expensive back like in '79. Like somebody right. had like tie stick. Yeah. So it was a tie. It was tied on the stick. Yeah. A little stick, and they had tied. I was like, that was like fucking fifteen bucks for a little small one. Like Coolio used to say. Exactly. Out. And so like if you threw in, you you, you have to throw I in for it. You go, okay, five bucks each. Then you I get, you bring it back. Like, what the fuck is that? It's like a, a little small <laughs> thing, you know. But it was really good. So there's always been good weed, but um, um, now it's um, it's good. I think actually, it's a better alternative to um relaxation than alcohol. I would say. No, sure. Like I dare say. I used that, you to know, be an alcoholic. Right, people talk about dispensaries. Oh, what do you hear about dispensaries? Oh, about crime. About there's, there's no crime around dispensaries. Or, yep. You know, yeah. There's no weed. fights on weed. Nobody fights on weed. Yeah, weed, weed on does weed. not ruin families. It does not it cause car wrecks. Oh, you're here to weed. Oh, my God. Let's not get ruined a family on weed. If you know, my if son's family on weed. Yeah, exactly. Thank you, puppet man. It's a modicum of honesty. It unites <laughs> families. <laughs> Wait. Okay, baby. <laughs> what, the, what truth are we hiding? <laughs> yeah. Thank you, thank you. Tell them, puppet guys. Tell them, guys. It's okay. It's okay. You kids. You kids with I, your irony. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> Our blatant disregard oh, oh, for Henry. actual sarcasm. Oh, Henry. Oh, Henry. Oh, Henry. Oh, Henry. How about that? English major humor. <laughs> <laughs> Come on. You have right, a so, so you Jesus. are in two bands. One of them are Foggy Nation. I, I, grace, is... I grace two bands in my presence. Okay, what? My artistic presence. Tell us presence. about it. Tell us about that. Well, I, I'm just the best yeah, thing in both bands. Oh, well, what are they called? The Dan bands, both of them. Yeah, bands. both uh, of them. I'm in both the bands, so I don't give whatever. I don't care about none of them. I'm going solo, as a matter of fact. You're going did solo? you know that? No, I did not know. I'm that going rogue. Information. Oh, God, solo. Are you Scott Stappen? Scott Stappen. Are you pulling a Scott Stappen? I'm on the Alter Bridge. Are you the Alter Bridge? You're the new Creed singer. I am. Yes, maybe. Are you going to do uh, your yeah. Chris Gaines? But it's Apollo Creed. <laughs> 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 By Apollo. Chris Gaines, yes, I have. Yeah. Apollo Creed. Fucking band. Chris. Uh, was it uh, the uh, Garth Brooks alter ego? Or that's the me? one. Oh, that's right the there. one. <laughs> I love this nerd trivia. Fuck Hi, man. you yeah. know. Yep, yep. Um, Dan was a question. <laughs> your bands. Oh. You're in two bands, right? Yes, yeah. yeah, so I'm the greatest thing about both bands. So. Okay, I'm sorry. PWHC is one of the bands, a, a trio yeah. of Michael and Mike, and they're more, more, more like kind of stoner rock, hardcore, kind of uh, fast stuff. Discharge, I guess they like that kind of stuff. Okay. Hard stuff. Um, Foggy Nation are kind of more like uh, Stooges. Um, both bands are, are kind of um, well, very important to me. Um, Foggy Nation is more kind of a um, stasis period, like kind of like kind of like Ripley and Alien, <laughs> you know, kind of, like, kind of just in suspended animation. But yeah. Yes, yes. We will awaken soon for there's the an David up- Fincher Alien. There's there's an upload uh, from November fifth of last year called New Slow One or oh, something yeah, like right, that. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah we, we want to make a video of that one, but I mean we don't ever record. You know we're we're lazy Mexicans. <laughs> we, uh, we don't we don't do shit. You know we we just want to get high and that's what I was talking about earlier. We're like fuck yeah, dude. Tomorrow we'll get together write this fucking song. Get yeah, oh fuck yeah, brother man. What time you get off work, bitch? Six o'clock. I'll fucking be there. Fuck yeah. Then six o'clock rolls around. You know we're hoping they don't call. Like, fuck, you know, please, please, please. <laughs> don't you know, call don't my bluff of being, of being, being please, proactive. I said like the one by the tank. Like, oh, what was the dispensary? <laughs> <You know? laughs> so, um, so that's that's kind of what that is. Foggy Nation. I, I like in the two bands like this. Foggy Nation. Foggy Nation for me is like um, natural born killers. Yeah. And PWHC is like Pineapple Express. Ah. It's like more of those kind of vibes like that. Yeah. Um, ah. I have I have a lot of things inside my head that gotta get out. Okay. I have a lot of words. I don't know if um, the history of Alzheimer's in my family. There's um, dementia going on, so I don't know if that's what's happening or not. I, I have, I'm very slow on a lot of things lately. Yeah. I'm very slow on a lot of things. Um, I have a lot of things in my head that I think want to come out. My goal the whole life was, was going to be to write a movie, write a novel, write an autobiography, do a comedy album, do a PWC album, and do a Foggy Nation album. That was going to be my thing. Yeah. I could, I could be everything, but... I, I don't I can't get past a first stage on a lot of things lately. I can um, it's hard for me. I mean, you know, and I it's funny probably smoking an ounce of marijuana a day doesn't help. <laughs> I think hey, I have to contemplate that possibility. Snoop Dogg can do what he does on a pound. Yeah, yeah. Puppy yeah. guy. Seth Rogen for sure. Yeah. You're right. Best. Puppy guy wisdom. Yeah. Kevin Smith oh, here. Too, yeah. Yeah. So there's too much uh, too much in my head. I gotta get it out. I gotta get it out. I like I like um I like things to be funny. I like I like to use my comedy in as far as lyrics, like that. I don't see things too seriously. I mean I like to. I mean I'm 
Twitter. I'm a Facebook junkie. I mean, I like to, to bag on Trump. I like, I like that a lot. Yeah. Because here's what happened. Um, Trump came at everybody really hard. Oh. Hard charging. You know, you're a pussy if you can't take it. I'm telling you this. Fucking liberal snowflake. Yeah, fuck yeah. you. This and that. You're a big bitch. You're a cuck. With this or that. Low shit. energy came, Jeb yeah, Bush. Came really hard. Came to be, came to be president. Obviously, he doesn't know anything about anything. Now, what do you hear? Oh, it's Obama's fault. It's Hillary Clinton's fault. Okay. It's Mitch McConnell's fault. It's uh, Jeff Sessions' fault. Everybody it's uh, else's everybody else's fault, fault, right? Yeah, exactly. Except for the success, in. you know, right? Yeah, so that, that um, right? Like, and, and for me, that. for me, and, and I never pulled a race card, but it's gotten very specifically anti-Mexican, not Latino, not 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 Im- illegal immigration. Just by pardoning Jeff Sessions, I mean, by pardoning, uh, not the same difference, by pardoning Joe Arpaio, um, it is specifically an insult to me as um, as Mexican. Not as Latino, not as Hispanic. Yeah. It's Mexican border, demonized as far as immigration goes. Yep. And that's not okay with me. That's not okay. I paid a lot of money for this fucking country. You know, I, I, I said something that, this is what I hold true. If I eat at a restaurant, the waitress doesn't have to fucking love me to give me good service. You know, just fake it until I leave. That's yeah. okay with me. I want the same amount of Trump. At least fucking fake it. You know? Fucking Rex Tillerson, the oil fucking pig that he is, the fucking evil piece of shit that Rex Tillerson is, is showing more presidential ah. leadership than fucking Trump. At least he's fucking lying, or I can tell you, at least tell me that. At least tell me you go to the office and you make this shit up. Please tell me that at least. Don't say I'm going to come here and talk about fucking whatever I want to talk about. That's not that's not good for me. And it's like, yeah, it's not good that the people aren't, aren't owning Trump now. And I was like, oh, fucking, that was just anti, anti, and it's Antifa. Aren't we all anti fascists? Isn't that, you know? Yeah. We have better class qualified that we're anti fascist. How is that not the default setting? Well, here's what happened. It's the same bullshit happened. And I'm, first, I got to say this Red states, I'm taking your fucking car keys away. No! Okay? Nice. <laughs> All right? Yeah! Strike one. You strike got one. tall red states. Seceding from the nation, okay? Strike one. Slavery, strike one. Strike two. Fucking segregation bullshit. Yep. Strike three. Voting for Trump. Okay? You don't get the car keys anymore. Fuck you, Red State. Yeah! Okay? Now, you, now, uh, you, now you fucking reelected the piece of shit. You want to fucking own it now. Oh, it's the liberal fault. Oh, it's Obama's fault. Oh, it's Hillary's fault. Oh, it's the fuck. It's your fucking fault. Own this shit now. Own this shit now. It's all his fucking fault. I don't like that specifically anti-Mexican bullshit. Trump won because of the motherfucking wall. Because the wall gave everybody opportunity to fucking be fucking racist in public. Yep. That was it. I don't like Mexican. You know, yeah. Nobody's, yeah. nobody's not. I, 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 nobody's, and I, I, I hesitate to say this. I'm just going to speak from the heart. Nobody's on our side. Everybody can debate the wall. Immigration is a problem. We have to admit that. And these massive reforms. Oh, Jesus. Not, not, not. If, what if, what if uh, Jeff Sessions said, we're going to build a wall on fucking Chicago? How about Chicago gangs? How about these black scourges? That would be a fucking riot. And it's okay to fucking touch them. Mexican. That's not good with me. And I'm done now. <laughs> <laughs> it's true. There is, there is. That's, like, that's not good with me. There is an unfortunate yeah, no, no, imbalance yeah, yeah, yeah. between. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. No, and that's good. I mean, like in this podcast, we welcome every single you know side of every single coin, as long as they are able to express themselves in the proper. And manner. I'm smoking marijuana now, so I don't know shit about anything. <laughs> don't be offended. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> no, I was man. trying to put political points to my friends, but we was getting high. <laughs> Scared Spill podcast is for fuck around purposes only. Border prohibited. Oh, yeah. I love this fucking puppet guy, man. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to voice, I wanted to voice my life. Well, I mean, as a musician has, you mean, you, I've seen that your band plays a lot of shows. So. Please talk about me more. It's my favorite subject. Dad, you know, whatever, whatever you ask about to me, you. My, my favorite color, you know, <laughs> what animal would I be? <laughs> Please, I'll, I'll answer it all. Uh, all right, so let me think. Your band, puppet guy. Take the world over. Do, your band plays a lot of shows recently. Oh, yes. Recently, you guys have been playing a lot lately well, with a lot of like good bands and everything, right. and a lot Rolling of different Stones areas as well. Different. You know, it's like um, what would you, what area would you say has the best reactions to the type of band that you guys have? Because obviously, like the, the things that you mentioned are not the typical type of norm things that uh, a musician would say about their band. You know, like you ask the band, like, oh, like how's your band? And like, oh, well, we based off of this and this band and this other band. Like, you know, you were more basing it off of energy spectrum and you know like the yeah, right. live essence that you guys carry with that so what would you say the different areas that it, there is that you guys are playing because you guys play a lot in Pomona you guys yeah, play a lot yeah, of in right. LA a lot in downtown <laughs> those are fun, a lot those of East LA days, yeah because yeah. the Pomona is not always um Pomona we do a lot of shows in Pomona a lot of shows at Dalton and Anaheim and those you know they have um certain demographic yeah you know <laughs> and that's always a kick to me to play because I like to play music and um 
and we uh, we play so to a lot of uh, a lot of different audiences, and I um I find a really good reception in Pomona. Um, characters in Pomona, I find a good reception at the Doll Hut, uh, and people like to debate about whether you have Nazi bands, and that's that. I just want to play music. That's all for yeah. me. That's all for me. And that, that's all for me. So I I, I like the Doll Hut. I like characters. I like Cafe Nella also in uh in Northeast LA. Yeah. That's really my my buddy owns it. Really nice place. Awesome. Oh, but then I like I like booking shows. It's such a headache. Have you, you booked shows? Yes, I, yeah, I've booked a lot. Is that a headache? Like, oh man, I'm not a promoter or booker, so right. fans stop hitting me up. I don't, not a promoter. We want, we don't want to go first. We, you know, no, like, man, just yeah. like, I mean, right, I, right. I, we don't want to go first. Yeah, like, it, it's good to help bands. It's fucking awesome to help bands. You know, it's great. But when they start try, trying to make you their manager, it's like, dude, it's like I'm just trying to help you out. I like when the band showed up and say, well, oh, can we use some of these drum set? Yeah. <laughs> Uh, I don't. We don't bring a drum set. Yeah. What's in the car? We don't want you to get old. It's in the car. Hey, why the fuck do you yeah, exactly. bring yeah. it? Exactly. Yeah. Fuck, exactly. Or at least like let me know ahead of time, the day of the show. You know, or like nobody wants to open up because there's no one there. It's or like, don't, well, break your, don't break your drums out on stage. You know. Yeah. Get them off stage. Right? <laughs> yeah. Or can you set up like this? Is the last song right, you set right. up? Like, oh no, dude, we're kind of trying to check them out. You're here to fucking play, dude. What right. The right. Fuck? You know, have your fucking, you know, like, merch guy fucking help you. If anything, you want to, like, do anything, just stand on the side or something. But you got a mystery shows. Yeah, oh, dude, fuck. Yeah, yeah it's just uh, the best, right? Yeah, I mean, I, I get my t- I get my fix when I go on tour, so. Oh, yeah. yeah, like, little by, like, we go a little bit, you know, so. But I do miss, like, playing constantly. That's why, I, like, it, it really makes me feel good seeing that, you know, like, someone, like, at your age is still doing these shows constantly almost every other weekend. You know, like going from like Pomona to East LA, and it's like that's the type of shit I used to do. But I was in fucking middle school. Yeah, I had, I had to fucking, I had to go. Um, I had to. Um, they caught up with me. Some crazy ass shows. Some crazy ass women. Oh man. Some crazy ass substances. And some crazy ass neo Nazis. Nah. Some crazy ass stuff happened that I thought was like rock and roll at the time, you know. Oh, but man. it really cut into my head so a little bit down the road. Nice. Well, <laughs> really, it made me tired. I'm just really, I hadn't, um, yeah, like just to look over the edge, you know. <laughs> well, yeah. in, in this podcast, we're also trying to emphasize in the paranormal and occultic side of uh, life. Do you have any stories that you would like oh, to relate with as far as life. with uh, being in your bands, in any of the bands, or as a musician or as a comedian, traveling or going to a specific um, theater or a Oh, yeah, venue? well, as, um, as a comedian, I used to host shows at the... The Sunset Grill next to um, Tower. I'm, I'm sorry, next to um, the Guitar Center on Sunset. Mm-hmm. Because the Sunset Grill, Jim Carrey would drop by. All kinds of big people drop by there. But um, we host the show upstairs for the comedian. That was always last. A host leaves last. So um, down the stairs there was um, a really weird energy. If you go on to the back stairs, you had to go to put the mic away and a couple other stuff away in the back. Remember Scott Bonds would go back there? Yeah. There was that one room back there. There was um, I took him along with me. Oh, it's all the comedy stuff we were little. So um there was a like swirling staircase we'd go down to put the mic away. Mm-hmm. And you had to lock the door if you closed, you know, you wanna get real pissed off, you'd lock the fucking door. So I had to go down and lock the door. And man, there was um you would physically feel like air conditioning pass through your body when you walk down the stairs. Uh, just a really weird whole energy around the whole place. It was, it was really um it was um it was pretty strange. It was um it was um they, they, I, I don't know what the deal was, nobody ever talked about it. And there was just something like that. That was, and there was, um, I mean, there's been some supernatural things that have happened. Oh, well, this is the place to talk about them. You know, we recently had our friends in Vomit Beast come into our studio and talk about some really gnarly shit. So, I mean, if you have something really far out that, you know, is going to make us cringe and probably, like, keep us up at night, you know, this is probably the best place to do so. Pop out the cocaine and just, you know, <laughs> ride away, man. Uh, I don't know if you <coughs> boys and girls are ready. <laughs> <laughs> I've been strapped in from the start. Buckle up, buckle Scared Spliff Podcast.